Hello, today we're going to learn about the Borodifer diagram and how to draw it. Borodifer diagram is a visual representation of the atom that basically consists of electrons, neutrons, and protons. Through this diagram, we can see that electrons are negatively charged, protons are positive, and neutrons are neutral. This diagram shows the location of each of the subatomic particles. Electrons orbit the nucleus, protons and neutrons make up the nucleus. The maximum number of electrons in the first shell is 2, and the second and third shells hold up to 8 electrons each. The bohr rutherford diagram of an element, we need the atomic mass and the atomic number of that element, which we can find on the periodic table. Key information we need while drawing a Bohr-Rutherford diagram is the number of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Protons and electrons equal the atomic number, while neutrons equal the atomic mass minus the atomic number. Draw a Bohr-Rutherford diagram of the element carbon. For the first part, we need to find the atomic number and the atomic mass, which we can find on the periodic table. To determine the number of electrons, protons, and neutrons, we use the three little equations. Protons and electrons is equal to 6. Neutrons is equal to the atomic mass rounded minus the atomic number, which is equal to 6. To start off our diagram, we draw a circle for the nucleus, and we write our protons and neutrons inside of it. To place our electrons, first we need to draw our first shell. In our first shell, we can only have two electrons, but remember, we need six electrons. So we put two in the first shell, and the next four electrons go into the second shell. As said, we know that we must have four electrons in the second shell to have a total of six electrons. Take note that when we are placing electrons in shells, we must complete one full shell before moving on to the next shell, and we have to start at the top of the shell and move clockwise. Based on the number of electrons, we know that we can have a third shell. However, in our case, all of our six electrons are fit in the first two shells. Therefore, we don't need a third shell.